Hi everyone, my name is Chocolate Beauty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos, please subscribe, share, and like this video. Let's get into it. So I wanted to give you an update on the bill that the Biden administration is currently working on and will be presented to the public on January 14th. So I'll, I want to go over what's in the bill, um, the breakdowns of certain bills, and also the potential roadblocks that will probably happen once this bill makes it to the Senate. What's in the actual stimulus package? Uh, the first thing is um, the stimulus checks, um, extension of unemployment benefits, state and local um, assistance, rental assistance, loans uh, for small businesses, uh, the I ideal grant, and student loan forgiveness. If you're currently still waiting for your $600 stimulus paycheck, the IRS released a statement saying that they're no longer doing any more direct deposits for those of you who are still waiting for your $600 checks, which means that you will be either getting a paper check or a prepaid debit card with the $600 stimulus. Um, the IRS is going to be sending you a check or a debit card uh, due to the confusion with all these different tax companies, we're expected to get an additional $1,400 for this new stimulus uh, bill. So the $600 and the $1,400 equals $2,000 stimulus checks, which Joe Biden promised and Nancy Pelosi passed through the House, but Mitch McConnell did not bring it to the Senate floor, which made it dead on arrival. The next thing is the extension of unemployment. For the current bill that's going on right now for extended unemployment benefits, there is some confusion about exactly how the money is supposed to be distributed. So people who are under the special programs for uh, the pandemic relief, those people are still waiting on the last bill that the Trump administration passed. They've been waiting since December 27th and they will have to wait until they figure that out. For those of you who are collecting regular unemployment, you're good to go. You're still gonna collect your additional $300 with along with unemployment benefits that you qualified for. In the meantime, the Biden administration is trying to get more money into the American pockets. So what they wanna do is increase the unemployment bonus checks back to $600, which they believe will not only help American people, but also boost the economy because these people will be putting this money right back into the economy to buy food, to buy essentials, um, to get businesses going. Hopefully that comes through. It can correct whatever issues that they're currently having with unemployment. Uh, it's ridiculous. The next thing is rental assistance. You need to make sure that you go to your local Commonwealth Housing Authority to see where you can apply for rental assistance. It's not clear exactly how many months they were giving for the rental assistance or for the CARES Act. It was six months, three months back pay, three months in advance rent. And they also added electricity and water to that. I mean, it does help, but it's only six months worth of help that they gave for the CARES Act. I'm hoping that they improve that for, for this um, actual bill to help people. The ideal grant, the ideal grant um, on January 17th, on January 17th, the website for you to apply for the ideal um, grant will go live. It is unknown on what time it's going to go live, but it goes live on January 17th. So if you have a small business or you're a contractor and you would like to apply for grants, um, please do so and be on the lookout on January 17th. And we know from the CARES Act that it's first come first serve. So if you are a contractor, small business owner, I will apply for this grant. Student loan forgiveness. Joe Biden wanted to give $10,000 for student loan forgiveness. Bernie Sanders did the interview saying that he wanted to give Americans $50,000. We'll see exactly how much the money you're gonna give for people to apply for for student loan forgiveness. Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders are not on the same page and hopefully they will include some type of forgiveness that will help a lot of college students, especially if they graduated 
and and they pass their six months grace period and they have to start paying their student loans there's some potential roadblocks the two democrats that recently won the senate seats in georgia haven't been seated nor have they been certified uh they have until january 22nd they need to get those two senators seated before they even can bring anything to the Senate. That means that this bill can be held up in the Senate until January 22nd, which means that more than likely the stimulus package will not take an effect until February. The second roadblock is now we have this Democrat Senator who decided that he wants the, that he wants the stimulus check to be targeted. At first I did agree with, with getting that done. Making the people who, who um, make a certain amount of money off, like if you make 350,000, like there's no need for you to get extra money. But I was watching the video and somebody broke it down so clearly and I was just like, you know what? Yeah, like they shouldn't be excluded either. You don't know the circumstances. Maybe that household is making a lot more and now they have one spouse making that amount of money with six to eight kids. I actually agree with that. You don't know if they reduced their hours. You don't know if they had lost income. You don't know what's going on in their household. And plus, if you notice, uh, market prices for food has gone up. There are certain states that milk went up $2. You will think that during a pandemic and the economic crisis, that prices on food wouldn't skyrocket like they did. I mean, I know for myself, there's a, a certain meat I like buying um, it was $5.99 per bag. Like literally two weeks after the pandemic happened, it went up to $11.99. So it was crazy. Like they're saying, okay, well, you know, people are hungry. People are hungry, but supermarkets are increasing the prices of their food. One of the stupidest things that Joe Manchin has said in his interview was that he doesn't want to give money to people who would save their money. Well, guess what? The government has failed with helping those Americans that needed it the most. Of course, somebody is going to save their money in order to make it stretch. What logic is that? Anyway, there's a few ways to get around Joe Manchin. Number one, they can find other Republicans within the Senate to vote on this bill. They can use the budget reconciliation for a reason to pass the bill through the house without needing his vote at all. So there's a few ways to get around that. Uh, uh, one of the problems that could potentially happen within this, this Senate is the Democratic Party itself. There seems to be division amongst the Democrats. There's not bipartisan agreement with what is in this stimulus bill. You also don't have the bipartisan agreement to the bonus amount that they're giving to people that's on unemployment. If you don't remember, when they tried to pass the extended unemployment benefits the second time through the House and through the Senate, 18 Democrats voted against the $600 increase in unemployment bonus. So that means that more than likely, you still have 18 people who do not agree that the American people need $600 on top of their unemployment benefits weekly. So that's a hurdle that nobody's really thinking about. The $2,000 check is not the only issue. Unemployment, and the rules and regulations of what they want to give the American people is also on the line. So you already have 18 Democrats that said no to 600 and yes to 300. So that's something that they have to work within their party. Hopefully they will work that out. So we won't have to go through this nonsense and then wait a few more months for them to figure out something that they can all agree with. All right, you guys, thank you for watching my latest video on the stimulus bill. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Ciao.